COVID-19 has changed the way we live. Lockdowns mean people around the world have taken fewer car journeys, flights have been grounded and industry has shut down. And you can see the difference that's made to air quality in some of the most polluted cities. But what about something you can't see? Carbon dioxide, one of the key greenhouse gases responsible for climate change. As the pandemic spread around the globe, CO2 emissions did fall as countries went into lockdowns. The falls in emissions have been bigger than in any past economic slowdown, including during the Second World War. This may sound like good news for our climate, but it's not that simple. Think of carbon emissions like the taps filling a bathtub. This year, those taps have been turned down. The water, or the CO2, is flowing a bit more slowly. But the bath is still filling up. In fact, on the 1st of June 2020, while many countries were in lockdowns, the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere reached its highest level in human history, and quite possibly the highest in 3 million years. So, our carbon bathtub is pretty full, and we can't just simply pull out the plug. Carbon dioxide is absorbed by the plants and the oceans, like natural sponges. But this takes time. CO2 emitted today will still be in the atmosphere in hundreds of years. So, there'd need to be a long-term drop in carbon dioxide output to make a real difference to the climate crisis. And the question is, what will the recovery from the pandemic look like? We've already seen that as countries' economies open up again, emissions also return to their upward trend. For them to continue slowing down, some of the changes the pandemic's forced us to make to work, industry and travel would have to become more permanent. Even while the world's attention has been focused on coronavirus, the effects of climate change have continued. 2020 is set to end up as one of the warmest years on record. In the fight to tackle the climate crisis, it'll be up to governments and societies to decide whether the drop in CO2 emissions caused by the pandemic is the new normal or just a drop in the ocean.